Tell me, in your own words, why do you find it impossible to live with your husband? Well... Don't touch the microphone and speak louder. Well, my husband... my husband has been beastly. I see. Did he drink a lot? Oh, no, sir, not at all. Uh, stayed out all night? Oh, no. He blacked your eye. Please, Mr. Agony. Then what did your husband do? This. He threw it at you. Oh, Mr. Agony, you don't understand. You see, it all started last Christmas when Joe bought an electric train for our little nephew. If I'd known then what I know now, I never would have let him unwrap that package. The next morning, he had to show Junior all about the train. But the more he showed Junior, the less Junior had a Christmas present. I'm gonna make you go fast. Hey, wait a minute, I'll run it. You sit there. I'll run it. Keep your hands off it. Give me that. Give, give me that train, Junior. Give Joe. me that train, Junior. Joe, give Junior back the train. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. After all, it's his Christmas present. Then the disease hit him, and Joe had to have a train of his own. Almost stepped on my caboose. Oh, well, get your caboose up off the floor, will you, and go to work? I got loads of time. Loads oh. of time. Alice, be careful. By February, Joe had taken the plunge. His railroad empire had spread all over the front room. I decided to take the bull by the horn. Alice, the Santa Fe left the station at 1201 and the B.O. freight is right on schedule. Watch! Hey, Alice, that's what you call an operation. Joe, you're gonna need an operation if you don't get this stuff out of the living room. Look out, honey, look out! Look out! If you don't get this stuff out of here right uh, this minute, so help me, I'm going to break it up piece by piece. I'm going to take every bit of it you're and tear it apart. Are you not? Things went along okay for a while. Joe got his railroad up off my living room floor, and we were as close to marital happiness as was possible under the circumstances. Circumstances? Yes. You see, Joe hadn't given up his hobby. He had merely taken it off the floor. Joe, Joe, what's that? 6.15, it's time to get up. Then we began to notice the dent in our bank account. I gave up the beauty parlor and continued to wear last year's clothes, while hobby happy Joe indulged himself at the railroad store. Ah, oh, Mr. McDokes, how's the B&O coming on? On track, on time, and over budget. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what I want. I want the operating milk car and a remote control. Yes, sir. Oh, and by the way, Buy around the track for the boys. Thanks. Gentlemen, from Mr. McDokes. My pleasure, boys. Here we are. What is that? Oh, that's our latest gadget, Mr. McDokes. Our mechanical signal tower. And the little men? They even belong to the Brotherhood. <laughs> I gotta have it. I gotta have it. Here, wrap it up. I'm sorry, it's only the demonstrator, Mr. McDokes. Look, I'll pay you double. No, that's not the idea. Here, take, take all the money, Mr. McDonald. I got it. Just a moment. I got it. I have it. I got it. That's all Joe cared about, giving his money to the railroad shop. Soon he'd have plenty of space in the living room for his toys. Joe, do we have to lose the furniture, too? Alice, will you leave me alone? But the final blow came the night we had my mother over for dinner. We couldn't afford a maid anymore, but Joe took care of that. 
Crazy, huh? You think I'm off my track, do you? You think I got a hot box in my head, huh? Well, let me tell you something you don't derail when your block signals are working. And I'm running on time, on schedule, you understand? On schedule! Now, both of you get off my right away, or I'll call a railroad ball. Go on! Oh. <laughs> And that's my problem, Mr. Agony. Well, it's a very interesting case. But before I make any recommendation to you, I'd like to hear what Mr. McDokes has to say. Are you Mr. McDokes? Yes, sir. Well, I'd like to ask you a few questions. You bet. Tell me, do you use O gauge or O27 gauge? Have you tried hooking transformers in parallel? Look at that. Ain't that a beaut? Union Pacific. <laughs> say, how'd you like to come over to my place tonight after the show? Woo! Woo! Beep, beep. Woo! Beep, beep, beep. Hey, we'll be a little late, folks. Sorry. 